Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel for another review and today we're going to be reviewing a film that is exclusively on Shudder and part of the 61 Days of Halloween and this film is the Mortuary Collection. Now, of all the films that I, you know, wanted to see part of the uh, 61 Days of Halloween event uh, for October, upon seeing this trailer, I had to admit, I was probably the least interested in this one. I wasn't ultimately, it wasn't appealing to me and Frankly, I thought it potentially could have been corny. Like, a part of me watched a little bit of the trailer, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to see what's up with it. I took that leap of faith, and I felt like I would have went into this um, just with an open heart about, uh, you know, what, 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 what was it that I was going to see? And again, just for the, the tidbits of the trailer I saw, I wasn't ultimately, like, sold on it. Nonetheless, I'm here to say that I really enjoyed this film. I really, really did. And the the philosophy here is I had low expectation and that came out very entertained. Um, but there's a lot of descriptors, descriptors I have to use for this film because it, it goes all over the place. But um, really quickly, what this film is about, so a young drifter, she applies for a job to be a local, uh, more, uh, to, to work at a local mortuary. And um, upon her doing so, you know, the... Mortician, who's played by Clancy Brown, who is hella creepy and does an amazing job, by the way, uh, basically uh, puts her through a trial of, of, of tests. And what the tests are that, uh, and upon their conversation, I mean, because she's ultimately interested, he's thinking like, there's no way you're interested in this. He doesn't have time. He's not interested right now. But because of her little curious, wandering, drifter personality, he says, you know what? If you are, well, I'm going to tell you uh, a few stories about things that correlate with this job um so basically what happens is that uh it's it has that tales of the crit vibes where you know um again clancy brown's character he's basically the crypt keeper but he's the mortician here and he you know he tells three two separate stories um about events that correlates with this job and at the why well, it's three stories because she ends up telling one at the end um it, it's basically like that so it's basically a a, a three a, a three-story film inside of a film uh but like i said much like tales of the crypt vibe but you know two hours long so you're getting three episodes in one shall i say uh but nonetheless like um it and and, and not to mention the two of them um because that's his own story in, in its entirety they have a lot in common that they find out um after all if they kind of you know after he kind of not the idea of that she's not interested no way she would want this job they're not similar um uh, but anyway uh you know Talking about the stories, the stories are super thought provoking. <laughs> um, they're super abstract. Like I told you, I'm gonna use a lot of descriptors here, and it really takes your mind to different places. Because I like if I can put this into like like a really vivid picture for you all, it's like a delt tone goosebumps, and like the goosebumps of like my generation, the first generation of goosebumps, um, not the new ones that 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 came out. Like not that. It is like, you know, that, st that style of storytelling, but adult tone, like to the utmost degree. Uh, but like with that being said, it's super gruesome, super graphic. It has some romance in it. It's clearly horror um, and it does have social commentary attached to it, which is interesting. Uh, but it's so violent, so bloody and it's so, so gross. <laughs> but with that being said, too, as far as with the element, the, the horror elements, it does a really good job with the suspense and the score. And each and every story, as you about time you get to the third story within this, it's truly um, the icing on the cake. It elevates each and every one. Uh, so, you like, you know, after you get your first dose, man, it doesn't get better. It gets more and more <laughs> elevated in every degree. Um, and pretty much the theme of this, this, this whole story is how evil deeds goes unpunished. <laughs> Maybe, but you'll see. Um, but like I said, each story gets more bizarre. Um, the cinematography within each story is uh, very unique, so I appreciated that. So it's like each of these three stories, you're getting a different style, different feel visually, um, especially with the effects as well, too. Um, and ultimately, for everything that's happening, because you have three stories, then you have an overall theme, it all wraps together really well. So like overall, like I'm very impressed with this film. This is going to be my film that if you may be on the ledge with it like I was, definitely see this one. Definitely see this one. I am going to watch the trail over again. Um, and then obviously I'm going to pin a, um, a comment under for this because again, I watched half the trail and I was just like, ah, uh, I don't know. But 
I want to really see if the if the trailer really sells you as good as it is. Because if it don't, by the time you listen to this review, hopefully you're sold. Because like it, it's definitely a watch. <laughs> it's definitely a watch. You're going to it's going to be some it's going to be some laugh out loud moments. It's going to be some eye popping jaw dropping moments. It's really going to go there. There's going to be some crazy things. Like I can't even like the second story. Oh man, oh man. Talk about the social commentary. <laughs> uh, whoo, I would, if, I, if I told y'all, man, y'all wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be ready. I can I really cannot believe they went there with that. But uh, yeah, the um, this this film again is going to be released on October fifteenth. It's going to be exclusively on the Shutter at the uh, the Mortuary Collection. Definitely check this out. Definitely let me know in the comments uh, if you seen the trailer, what you thought about it. Uh, were you 50-50 on it too? Definitely going to push you all the way to go see it if you are. Um, and then afterwards, if you see it, definitely come back in the comments. Let me know, know your thoughts. But thank you so much for watching this review, folks. And I catch you all very soon.